Heart failure comes in many different forms. The, the, there's about two to three different ways to categorize it. The uh, first way we categorize it is by looking at right-sided versus left-sided heart failure. Um, right-sided heart failure is when the right ventricle or the, the right uh, pumping chamber in your heart stops working or isn't pumping as strong, and you get back up into your uh, neck, uh, legs, um, abdomen, and other areas that normally drain back into your heart. Um, left-sided heart failure is, is the most common kind where the left ventricle, which is the last and final pumping chamber, gets weaker and can no longer pump as strong as it could. That usually causes backup into your lungs, and that's when people get really uh, uh, short of breath because the blood is backed up into their lungs. Um, now, if the left side of heart failure is bad enough, it can affect the right side, and you usually get right side heart failure too, or the right side is pumping against such a huge amount of volume and pressure that the blood doesn't flow anywhere. So the blood kind of gets stuck, and you end up with both right-sided and left-sided heart failure. Um, the word congestive heart failure, or what is congestive heart failure, um, when a lot of people are diagnosed with congestive heart failure, they kind of freak out. Um, congestion means just that backup of flow, the fluid, the volume. Because there's not enough forward flow, um, blood backs up into all your other organs, your legs, your neck, your lungs, wherever it may be. That's the congestive part. It's full of fluid. It's congested. It's full. Um, it's backed up. The heart failure is just a lack of forward flow. Um, the heart's job is to squeeze blood forward, and that's forward flow or cardiac output. When the blood is no longer going forward um, and, is, and is backing up uh, for whatever reason, might be a tight valve, could be a super leaky valve, and things are going more backwards than forwards, um, that is uh, called uh, heart failure because blood's not going forward. Um, the, the other kind of heart failure is something called valvular uh, 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 congestive heart failure. If your aortic valve, which is the final valve coming out of your heart, instead of being wide open, is super tight, blood's not going forward, that lack of forward flow is the heart failure. Or your mitral valve, for example, which is the, where the blood comes into your left uh, atrium, um, the mitral valve lets blood go into the left ventricle. If the mitral valve is really tight or just too wide open, if it's really tight, blood backs up into your lungs and you get congestion there. If it's really wide open and not uh, a competent valve, when every time your heart squeezes, that left ventricle squeezes, too much blood flows backwards into the uh, left atrium and then back into the lungs, that's a lack of forward flow as well. So sometimes you have valvular uh, heart failure. Another kind, another way, which is the most common way to uh, divide up heart failure and discuss it is systolic heart failure versus diastolic heart failure. Systole is that squeeze. When your heart squeezes, blood flows forward. Now the heart has four movements. The, the walls come together, the apex comes closer to the base, that sh you know, little part comes closer to the base, there's a ringing movement or like a twisting, um, and the endocardium, the muscle on the inside, thickens to also help kind of squeeze the blood out. So that's systole. When that's weaker and it's not pumping out as much blood, um, you get a lack of forward flow. That's called systolic heart failure because it's, it's from the squeeze. The cardiac cycle is divided into two major parts. That squeeze is one third of the cycle. The heart squeezes. And then the second part is that relaxation phase, phase which is two thirds of the cycle. The heart relaxes to kind of fill back up again. That relaxation sucks blood out of your left atrium which also sucks blood out of your lungs, and that kind of gets the blood into the correct chamber, the final chamber, to be pumped forward. Um, when you have a diastolic heart failure, diastolic dysfunction, that, that left ventricle is no longer relaxing enough. It squeezes real hard, but just barely relaxes. Squeezes real hard, barely relaxes. Um, when you have that situation, it's not filling up enough. Sure, you're squeezing out 80, 90% of the blood to go forward, or like a normal ejection fraction, but because diastole is weak or is not strong enough or you're not getting enough blood back into the, you know, getting sucked out of the lungs is to go forward, um, you end up with diastolic heart failure and that's, that relaxation phase is really, really weak. A lot of the same things that cause systolic heart failure cause diastolic heart failure. Almost everyone who has systolic heart failure also has diastolic, whether it's been detected or diagnosed or not is a different story. The number one cause is still coronary artery disease. Um, if you have blocked arteries, even a 20% blockage in your LAD or your RCA can be enough to cause um, diastolic heart failure. So diastolic heart failure, the, the solutions or the causes of it are much more subtle. It's not like a whopping blocked artery like the LAD or the RCA that can give you that. Now, right-sided right heart failure, if it was lone or isolated right-sided heart failure, the right ventricle is not pumping, 
That could be due to an RV infarct, which we've discussed in many of my other lectures, so click on some of those. Uh, but an RV infarct would cause the right ventricle not to squeeze there, and that's the one that causes the blood backing up into your neck and your legs and other uh, parts of your body. Um, so those are kind of the main uh, kinds of heart failure in different ways we classify it. The treatments for all these are a little bit different. Um, we'll have a different talk on that. It's kind of beyond the scope of this one. Um, the medications for these are also a little bit different. When someone is acutely in heart failure, you want to diurese them, slow their heart down, and get that congestion off. That's why it's called congestive heart failure. Get that congestion out of there. Diurese them, get the fluid off, get them stabilized, and then you can put them on you know, diuretics and different medications to go home on. So if you found this helpful, there's a lot of other videos you can watch.